major mistake right off the get-go as Catholic. On a 3 5 line, running back is Jimmy Cowan. In motion, comes right to the near side. Rebound comes straight ahead to the fullback and getting good running. Moving up over the 45, midfield, into the deep court territory. Guys can pick up yards on Lexington County. Uh, 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 the game the uh, 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 the board is first and ten for Catholic at about the Beachwood 48 uh, yard line. Hand off to the first man straight ahead. And that's Johnson again, and he pulls his line. Let's talk about the five hour DJ. DJ. four will be second down in six for the night. Game just underway, coming to about 80 degrees. The sun beating down. And here comes White to the near side on his feet. He breaks a tackle. Gets into the beach for a second day before he is forced out of bounds. Oh, He's there. Johnson Wayne set back in the backfield. Two men in motion. This will draw a penalty flag for both Jimmy Jones and Derek White from their position. And off straight ahead to Johnson, but Calvert's uh, 24. Exactly. Comes to the near side, cuts back, breaks the tackle, gets inside the 25, down near the 20 yard line. Led by the free set. Lying himself right behind a blocker like that. So another 17 yard scamper by White. Oh, but they come back up to the scrimmage line. And we're only about 15 yards off the ground, so let's call it first and 10 up to 20. Hand off straight ahead to Johnson. Jeff Zellin, the outside down by gain of close to four yards. Second down and six again with one back. There's White in motion. Turns to the quarterback. Drops back. He's a southpaw. Now he scrambles. He's in trouble and he's going to be dropped up near the line of scrimmage. Coming up quickly for nothing but try to hold on to the ball. Say no game. It'll be third down and six. The football remains at the Beachwood 16-yard line. Just underway. White in motion. Whistles blow. Movement again. And we're going to have a, another illegal procedure call against Catholic. That'll be their second penalty of the drive. This may well dictate it right here. In motion. Here's the handoff to Johnson. Breaks a tackle, cuts back. This is White with the football, and he's going, he's going to find it. Touchdown. As uh, Derek White broke. Ball carried by number five, Derek White. A tackle in the secondary, and Stamper's 20 yards for the score. He found an opening. He's really got some good blocking on the left side of the line there. Bob Spire's got to be happy with the way his Knights move the ball down the field. Here's Brendan Daugherty winding up for the point after. The lines are down. The snap is dropped by the holder, and there's a big pile, and the kick will be no good. Nothing he could do about that one. Started off with the snap right there. So with 6.27 left in the first quarter, there's Back here's Lexington Catholic, Bill Bishop along with Dave Shore. Game one of tonight's Bluegrass Bowl as Daughtery approaches the football with the kickoff. And he sails it down inside the five. And Wayne Scott mishandled a bit and momentum took him into the end zone. That'll blow the whistle. Is Adam Wolfick. Beachwood will use a multiple offense. They really like to run and shoot. We should see Wisher throw the ball quite a bit. Here's Bishop breaking three tackles on the first play up the middle. He's got one man to beat for an 80-yard score. And how perfect is that, Dave Shore? One play, one touchdown. Two good blocks and some horrible tackling early on by Lexington Catholic. And Beachwood put six on the board on their first play from scrimmage. What'd that take? 18 seconds, 6.09 remaining in quarter number one. And quickly, Beachwood has knotted the score at 6-6. Six what an 80 yard scamper. speed he had once he got out in the open, especially for a guy as big as he is. And getting ready now to try to tack on the point after is a left footer, Adam Wolfick. Lines are down. This could give Beachwood the lead for the first time tonight. The snap a good one. The hold is down. The kick is up, and it is good. And there's timeout on the field now with the score Beachwood 7 and Lexington Catholic 6.
fell asleep for just a brief couple of seconds. You missed a one-play drive by Beachwood. They have the lead 7-6. Here's Bill Bishop. Wolfick on the kick. White on the reception at the five-yard line. Breaks a couple of tackles. Gets back up over the 20 to about the 22-yard line where a host of Tigers are there to grades 10 through 12. 90. 45 of them play football. That's what you call a football-strong program. Here's the handoff from Ernst, this time on a little counter play off the left side. Not a whole lot there as Beachwood was able to call it the 23-yard line. It'll be second down and a long nine for Catholic as White comes in motion to the near side. Ernst takes to the fullback, gives the second man through. And that is Jones again, I believe, yes. And as he slides off the right side, He's coy about the way they make their handoffs. That's what Bob Spire likes. It's called a gain of four on the play. Mark it at the 27, where it'll be third down now and about five yards to go. Quick pitch to White. Changes direction. Changes direction again. Drags a couple of uh, Tigers with him. He's going to be short of the first down, but he ran 72 yards that time to gain two. There's a young man who can change directions. and Both these head football coaches, Mike Yagle, along with Bob Spire, in their sixth year at their respective schools. Catholic, of course, plays out of District 2, Region 2, along with Frankfurt. For 90 days. Loaded new 96 Galants. A Consumer's Digest recommendation. No money down. Just $189 a month on a 42-month interest-free lease. Or buy for just $14,988. Plan is open late Friday and Saturday. Open Monday, Labor Day, 10 to 6. Hurry for the best discounts of the year during the massive Labor Day weekend marathon sale. At Glenn Mitsubishi. It looks to be at about the 27-yard line. We'll call it the Beachwood 27. They send out, send wideouts to either side, single back. Now the wing in motion. Here's the quick pitch by Wisher back to Brian Bishop. Of course, he gained 80 on his first carry, and he's down the sideline with room to run. And he's up across midfield before he is taken out of bounds by Catholics. Jimmy Jones, the free safety, and that was about a 25-yard scamper, so give him 800 the right side. Well, they said he ran out of bounds back at his own 47-yard line, so just a 20-yard run. It'll be first and 10. Single back, wing to the left, wide outs to either side. Here's a handoff straight ahead to the fullback, Adam Wolfick, and he has a look again. District 1, Region 3 where they've been picked again this year by the coaches to finish first. Now we got a flag as whistles blow, and evidently we have movement. I thought on the Beachwood line of scrimmage. Beachwood's pointing to Lexington Catholic but side, nope. and that's where it is. Lining up in the... Going wide to the far side for the Tigers is Derek Estep. They got a tight end to the near side. Two men in the backfield. Here's a handoff to Brian Bishop. He cracks over the left side where he was met by the middle linebacker, Joey Ford, who put the brakes on Bishop at that time, but not before, I believe. By eyeballing, it looks like he has the first down. While we have this break, we want to remind you that post time with Ursel Ellis will come up right after game number one. Ursel will join us between games. Before our second game, you'll hear post time with Ursel Ellis. So stay with us right here on Sports Radio 630 WLAP. And the measurement is out there. A little bit short. Yeah, a little bit short. Brian Bishop is averaging about 48 <laughs> yards a carry right now. He lines no up. No relation, I assume. No, no. Okay. One of the few. Wolf in front of That's his brother Josh in front of him. Just a quarterback sneak by Wisher. And he got enough on that one. Yes, he did. Just straight ahead. Yeah, that'll be a first down. And takes it into... Now we have to wait as they move the stick fans also across the way. Well, they've really grown over here. I remember when there were no bleachers behind the end zone here at Lexington Catholic, but football interest has grown, and it is expanding here. Let's call it the 42-yard line. First and 10, back to throw his first pass of the night. Wisher completed on the near side to his tight end, Joey List, and that'll be good for about seven or eight yards. They break the huddle with List, the tight end of the near side. Now they run out of the wishbone. They said they would run a multiple offense, and this is unbalanced to boot. Here's a quick pitch back to Wayne Scott. Wayne Scott tries to circle the left side, had his feet slip out from underneath him just a bit, and right there then to put the finishing touches on him was Ryan Bishop, who played for the Tigers of We Beachwood. won't try to tell them apart with their helmets on up here. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Looks like they all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> here's the fake, and here's an end around list, and now the tight end's going to throw a southpaw pass, completed at the 12. That's a tackle. Touchdown. No, 34. I thought it said 74. And boy, Beachwood has come out with some box top plays. 
The handoff was a reverse to the tight end, Joe Inglis, who then set up and threw down the field to Brad Ratliff, a 6'4", 186-pound wide receiver who had beat his man at about the 10 or 12. Then quarter. That play really developed well on the left side and not a bad spiral pass by the tight end. <laughs> a southpaw. Here's the snap. The Wolfwick's placement is up and through. It's good. Nope. Check it. They said it sailed right. No good. So there's timeout on the field in quarter number one with the score. Now Beatwood 13. He was going to show a number of things tonight. Here's a double wing set now by Catholic from their own 20. In motion, White comes to the near side. They hand it to him. He strings it out with the defense and then tries to cut it up. Gets a couple, three, four yards. Scott Coyle, the corner, fluidly uh, and gracefully, he runs the football. So here's second and short, second and three, almost movement in the backfield by the fullback who gets the football going straight ahead. And with it is Johnson. He breaks one tackle, another tackle up over the 40, 45 out near midfield before Brian Bishop can come up and finally put him to the turf. Mark the White and watching him, and then they give it to that first man through going straight ahead. Credit offensive guard Patrick Skees with opening up a hole on that one. Here's an inside reverse, and it's White up over the left tackle across midfield into Beachwood territory again before around the ankles and pulling him down is Joey List. Mark it fire, obviously. for the Knights, trailing 13-6 to six late. As a matter of fact, less than a half minute to go here in quarter number one. This will probably be the final play as here is the handoff to Jimmy Jones. He circles the right side, gets a couple three as the first quarter will come to a close with the score, Beachwood 13 and... Probably the first one that got their sea legs might well take control of this game, but both these Cubs come out Headline. like it was about the sixth game. And then I got this one right here that you probably figure I come up something like this. Yeah. Well, here's the punt on fourth down and about seven by Daughtery, and it hits at about the 25 and rolls out of bounds across the... Uh, ...is hoping for is to try to stop the gain that Beachwood has done so easily in this one in two drives. Back to throw on first and ten, and a man open out here in overthrown. A good five yards out of the backfield next week in practice. He, you will probably see him try to make that one up. If he gets back into the game, because he's on the sidelines right now. Wide outs to either side, single back. Straight back to throw Wisher. Big rush, and he steps up, avoids one tackler, avoids a second, rolls right, throws upfield. Incomplete as the intended receiver Passing was Brad. It was dropped, actually. Uh, yeah, it really was. Along with Dave Shore, game two tonight, Louisville Trinity. Goes up against Henry Clay High School. Dave will have the play-by-play -play for that, and I'll get to eat sandwiches. Back to throw. Out in the flat, dropped. Intended for Josh Bishop. Poorly thrown. Yes. Pass. Click will do the booting for the Tigers. Standing back inside his 15-yard line. We got White and Johnson. Oh, here's a ground ball snapped back to him. He picked it up and drills it. A high spar. That hits 10, 15 yards over the punt returner's heads and rolls out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. My goodness, he launched that one like it was out of Cape Kennedy. I'll take but no return. Split backs for Catholic. White outs to either side. List up underneath the center. Hands it up the middle, and that's Johnson, DJ Johnson. Just diving off left tackle. He would possibly get some reps. He wanted to get his backup quarterback some reps. You're seeing it now in the second quarter. Thank you very much. Second down, about a yard to go. Neff, this time hands it to White. Off the left side, he dives up 
over the 25-yard line. That'll be first down yardage up near the 30. I got some time in. Catholic with a first down at their own 30. Again, split backs wide out to the near side. Wing to the left. Neff spins, hands to White, hands it back inside on the reverse. And the ball carrier gets about three or four. See him back there. We'll see how tentative he is on that knee. Let's give him five. It'll be second down and five. Neff takes the snap, hands it to Johnson straight ahead. He finds room into the secondary. Up over the 45, or up over the 40, out near the 45. That'll be another Catholic first. Along with Patrick Skees and Chuck Allen are doing their job. Split backs. Man in motion, coming to the near side. They give it to Johnson straight ahead, and he gets up over the 45, falls to about the 46-yard line. Getting up with the touching kind of offense that Lexington Catholic likes to run in the backfield. Give Johnson a yard at second down and nine. Again, backs are split. Coming in motion, the handoff goes to Rink, and he digs for about another yard, maybe two on the play. Coming up off the bottom of the tackle is defensive end Wayne Holderman, 66. Brian Claiborne, 6'3", a junior, 296 pounds. And Tom Massey, the other defensive end, goes at 198. There's a whistle, and we've got movement on the offensive side of the football. Illegal procedure for the third time tonight against the Knights of Lexington. Maybe Bob would let Ryan Neff show his arm off on this one. We'll see what happens now on third and 12. Neff looks over the defense. It's a nickel this time by Beachwood. He spins, fakes to his fullback, and no, he gave it to White. White tries to get outside of far on the far sideline, and he does so. He's got the first down. He breaks no the tackle at the 30. You. He's at the 20. Nobody will get him. See you later. Touchdown, Derek White, as he goes. Plenty of room there for Derek White. Brendan Daugherty now to try to knock the count at 13 as he lines up for the point after. Starting quarterback Steve Ernst is the holder. The lines are down. The snap a low one. Ernst handles it. The kick is up. It looks good. It is good. And there's timeout on the field here in the second quarter with a score now knotted. Beachwood 13, Lexington Catholic 13. 30 WLAP. Derek White's 57-yard touchdown run has tied up the score, and I think that there's one veteran sports catter, caster that would say we have a humdinger going right now, Bill Bishop. Here's Coyle taking the kickoff at about his own five-yard line. Does a stutter step straight up the middle. He gets up over the 25-30, out near the 35-yard line before the blue-clad Knights can pull him down. Catholic is proving right now they can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and go blow-to-blow. -blow. Wainscott comes wide to the near side. Wisher back to throw. A quick look and oh, he overthrew his intended receiver, Joey List, for a championship game when he was 15 of 20 for 263 yards and three TDs, even though that did produce a 28-27 loss. They went for two points at the end and missed it. Here's a pitch to Bishop. Swings the right side. Breaks a tackle. And another. He's up the far sideline across the 45-50 into Catholic territory before he's forced out of bounds across the way by Jimmy Jones and a couple of Back. As we look at our officials, Rick Lintry is the referee tonight. Headlinesman is Jay Asher, the umpire Kenny Gant, the line judge Gary Durbin, and the back judge is Keith Clary, all from here in Lexington. And you have the game in good hands. These young men, I've seen them out there yep. calling games here for, for many years as I've covered high school football in this area. They're some of the best officials in this state. Well, the march against Beachwood is going to be a major penalty 15-yarder for illegal use of the hands. The down will remain the same at second down. Mark the football that up and shoot, basically, although, as Coach Yagel mentioned, they'll do just about anything. We've already seen them in the wishbone tonight. Now they line up with two wide outs, man in motion, single back, straight back to throw Wisher. Good protection. He hits his tight end list across the middle, and he's brought down by Jones, but not before. He doesn't get back about two-thirds of the distance needed.
fine running back Derek White of Lexington Catholic. He should go and will go over 5,000 yards for his career this season. Here's the handoff. Bishop fumbles the football but dives back on it. As he started up off the left side, he just kind of left it there. He quickly fell on it before Joey Ford, the middle linebacker for the 46. Second down and 14 yards to go. Whiteouts either side for the Tigers. Wing right, single back, in motion Bishop coming to the near side. Wisher spins, back to throw, great protection in the flat. And that's twice he's thrown two of them at the feet of Brian Bishop trying to throw to do here. Clock stop with 5.45 remaining in the half. Score not at 13-13. Bishop in motion to the left this time. Whiteouts either side. Straight back to throw Wisher. Good protection. Steps up. Fires. Downfield. Incomplete. Good coverage on the play for Catholic by the strong side safety, Lee Walford. As the to punt is Adam Wolfick, who got off a 63-yarder his last time. And it looked like a missile coming out of there. There's the snap. And he hits this one. It's more wobbly and a high kick taken by White and dropped right in his tracks by Wayne Scott, Brad Wayne Scott, as the senior got down the field line, where it'll be first down and 10 for Catholic. Backs are split. Wing to the near side. That's White. He's going out in a pass pattern. Ernst back in at quarterback. The handoff straight ahead to Johnson. And he dives up over the right side. And now running a quick huddle up to the 20. It's second down and eight. And let's see now if they go back to White. He just kind of streaked down the field and they handed it straight ahead. Here Ernst now again hands it off to Rink who circles the near side. Cuts back inside of his tackle. Gets up over the 25 and near first down yardage at about the 28, 29 for actually a fine second quarter. David Rink, 5'11", 180 pound senior. Ernst back to throw, chased. The south ball tries to get outside on the left side, but he's going to be dropped, and that'll be a sack as there's a loss in the play of two or three yards. Coming up quickly for Beachwood was 6'1", 190 so. Football at about the 25-yard line. Ernst hands it straight ahead, and here's Johnson breaking into the secondary. 45-50. Falls into Beachwood territory at about the 48-yard line. And that play is from 75-pound junior who did what a veteran football player should do, and he protected the football right before he was tackled. 26-yard gallop. Quickly again with no huddle. Here's White on the handoff. Circles the far side, and this time the white-clad Tigers snow him under right about the line of scrimmage. Leading the way for Beachwood. Defensive end Tom Massey loss on the play. Of, loss of blocks. The Beachwood's defensive line averaged 237, while Catholic's offensive line averages 231. So they're not small by any stretch. Ernst back to throw, trips over Derek White's feet, and down he goes under his own volition at his own there, but he just fell over the feet of White, who was circling out of the backfield. Now, White goes in motion again to the far side. Here's the, there's a flag going down to hand off to the wing back, and that's Rink. He covers again, and he gets almost all 16 yards back. Flag as, in the backfield. As he rambles inside the Beachwood 45 down to about the 40, but that flag came down as the play developed. I don't know if they're going to get two men in motion or what. They are heading left to right on your radio dial here in the second quarter. Backs are split, slot to the far side, earned straight back to throw, fires down the middle, and almost in and out of the hands of Josh Bishop on defense, and then through the hand, Daughtery in the punt once again. Coyle and Bishop back deep for Beachwood, standing right at about there, well, inside the 25, as they start to scoot up a little bit. Here's Daughtery's kick, end over in, a floater. Bishop, well, he came up on it. He misjudged that one. That was like a knuckleball going down there. And the football actually hit about three or four yards in front of him. He was lucky it didn't. I mean, yeah, both defenses a little rocky to start this ball game, but they have really settled in and become an exchange of punts. Here's the handoff straight ahead. The ball carrier for Beachwood is Adam Walfick, 6-2-1. We got another one to go after this one. We're not even halfway through this one yet. Bill Bishop along with Dave Shore. On Sports Radio 630 WLAP, here is Wisher to pitch to Bishop. And Brian Bishop circling the near side. Gets up near first down yardage before Catholics number 34 as they try to... Turn in about a yard. 
keep this drive alive with just over a minute remaining now here in the first half. Out of the wishbone, they give it to Bishop. Slants off the right side. I believe he's got first down yardage. Not much more than that. Submarine by Ben Straub, defensive tackle, 5'11", 235-pound junior. Watch your statistics this year. I'm sure in the paper you're going to see that young man. Always, or in more recent years, been able to produce a hard running tailback. Wisher back to throw. Dances back up the middle. Pressured and dropped from behind. So at first and 10, credit the sack to number about do it. I don't think Beachwood will get up in time. Uh, I haven't read that right yet. It's uh, eight seconds to go. They're now one more playoff, Bill. So here's a Hail Mary coming up, but the whistle blows to stop the play with 2.7 seconds. That's what's throwing me off. That thing has a tenth on it, doesn't it? And there's the horn before the penalty could be accessed. I don't understand that, but at any rate, or maybe there was no penalty. Although it was... look like UK and UofL out there. Yeah. Here's Wisher, the quarterback, single back offense, hands it to the fullback. That's Wolfick. He breaks a tackle, breaks another, gets up over the 40, out to about the 45, falls forward about the 46-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down after ripping off 14 yards. He's got someone else there. Wolfick, 6'2", 183. Bishop is 5'11", 182. Brian Bishop, his brother Josh, is 6'2", 222. I'd hate to see that Bishop food bill. I hate to see mine. Here's Wolfuck. He spins, doesn't get much as he tries the left side. He's wrapped up over there by Michael Johnson. Nice can put away a supper. <laughs> Gain of one for Wolfuck. It'll be second and nine for the Tigers at their own 47-yard line. They look over the Catholic defense, which is a forefront. Back to throw, Wisher sets up, good protection. Fires into a crowd. Almost. His intended receiver was Wayne Scott, but actually he threw it right into the arms of middle linebacker Joey Ford. Play with quarter number three. 10 minutes and 45 seconds, just a minute 15 into the third period. We're all knotted 13-13 if you just joined us. I'm Bill Bishop along with Dave Shore. Hope you're enjoying it. Back to throw, Wisher again. Sets up, looks long. He's got a man out there, and just over the outstretched arms of the intended receiver, Dwight Morrison, as he was flying down the near sideline. It was a little overthrown on that one, but it was catchable. So from the 47 now, Wolfick will boot it away. Good snap, big rush, but he gets a high end-over-end -end kick. Going to come down to White, signals for a fair catch, and makes the catch at about his own 19 or 20-yard line. So Catholic after... Able to stop Beachwood on that opening drive. On the wing to the right side is Derek White, who had 128 yards unofficially rushing in the first half. Here's Johnson, who also carried the ball, actually carried it more than White. He had it 10 times in the first half for 103 yards unofficially. This time on the carry up the middle, he gets motion. And once then they handed the ball off to Johnson, and he got by the line of scrimmage. There was all kinds of room in the secondary of the Tigers. Again, misdirection. Here's a loose football, but I think they're going to blow the whistle dead. Blow the play dead. As it was Jimmy Jones, 5'11", to come up. Jason Weathers, the center, 6'5", 260, a sophomore. He's up over the football. Beachwood in a 4-3 defense. Turns, turns. Boy, he drops it off nicely. Hand off to the fullback coming through, D.J. Johnson. And he gets first down yardage as he gets up over the 31 to about the 34 yard line of Catholic as Seeks, or Skies and Bailey at the guards. Weathers is the center, as we said. Lamore and Allen are the tackles. 
Again, Ernst this time hands it to White, sweeps the left side, breaks an ankle tackle, breaks another tackle, drags a Tiger up to about the 39-yard line. All of that produces five yards, and it'll be second down and five. Football, nose of the football just short of the 40-yard line. We'll call it the 39, second down and five. Again, Johnson straight ahead, this time sliding down and making the tackle is Joey List. 6'3", 240. Brian Claiborne and Jeff Zellers, just, they just run to the ball so quickly. They're quick linemen. Back to throw, Ernst rolls to the near side. Man open downfield, caught inside the 40-yard line of Beachwood. And with that reception, for Lexington. That last play did bring the defensive secondary, the Tigers, in. And Ernst being able to throw that pass. Slot to the left. Wide outs to either side. Second man through. Fumble. Johnson lost the ball. Big scramble on far down near the 30-yard line. And let's see. Beachwood says we've got it. Catholic says we've got it. It's going to go, I think. The officials up, up there with the football's big number 79. That's Chuck Allen. He says, I've got it. Catholic's going to retain. So it'll be second down for Catholic. A pickup of five. Mark it at far. Rather awesome rushing attack by Lexington Catholic. Here's an inside double or reverse given to White, breaks a tackle at the line, breaks a second, a third, a fourth, he spins, he has a first down, he's down near the 20-yard line. Holy cow. That young man don't know how to come down. Last time I saw. Sponsored by St. Joseph Hospital. Hope you're enjoying it. Double wideouts. Actually, double wing for Catholic. Straight ahead, Johnson, he's free in the secondary, and finally Bishop puts a shoulder into him, but not before. D.J. John Johnson got perhaps first down yardage down. Oh, hey, give credit to Steve Burns. I mean, he does a marvelous job of faking with that football. He's up under his center right now. Spins. Leaves it for Johnson again, and this time he is greeted as he slides off the left side by Josh Bishop. Came from his outside. Seven and five, eight guys who, who run like they're a lot bigger. <laughs> I was laughing before. Look at that mismatch between the center and the quarterback there. Here's Ernst. Spins. Fakes to the fullback. Johnson rolls left. Man open in the corner. Overthrown as the pass intended for Jimmy Jones, but just out of his out, outreach. When Weathers bends over, Ernst standing straight up barely reaches his, his middle of his back. Here's third down. Big play. Here's the misdirection to White. Boy, a lot of deception there with the fake handoffs and White. Gets inside the five, down near the goal line to about the crowd. On their feet across the way for both teams. The Tigers dig in. Catholic up to the line. Fourth and goal from the one-yard line. Here's the handoff to White. Sweeps the left side. Goes in standing up. Touchdown, Catholic, with 444. Remaining in quarter number three, Lexington Catholic has regained the lead. This time, Derek White with his third touchdown of the night on a one-yard sweep. And it's a fake as they go with a quick snap and go with White up the middle, trying for a two-point conversion, but it's no good nice as the Tigers were not to be denied or fooled. And with 444 remaining in the third quarter, there's timeout on the field with the score now Catholic. consuming drive did it all on the ground well there was that one 12 yard pass from Ernst here's the handoff up the middle and still breaking tackles I'll tell you both these clubs feature runners that do not want to quit now defensive coaches will probably take was the 24 market at the 29 a gain of five for Wolfick and it'll be second and five wideouts to either side for Beachwood and now they're chased back into the huddle by the officials maybe an equipment problem. I think that's it there are some, there's some meat out there for both these clubs, I'll tell you. Wide outs either side, split backs in the backfield for Beachwood. Here's List, the tight end in motion. There's a flag on the play as the flip goes back to Ryan Bishop. Flag flying in the backfield. He got a couple three yards in Henry Clay. And Louisville Trinity in game two tonight, a couple of 4A 
monsters going after one another. Well, and Bill, uh, it's a Henry Clay team that is hungry to try to get their confidence back. They lost 26 to nothing in the state championship of the 4A class last year. Uh, nothing to be ashamed of at all, but Sam Simpson is... Ball game. Playing a Trinity team trying to bounce back from a 5-6 record of a year ago. And, of course, Trinity with more state championships than any other team in the state of Kentucky, 12. Uh, they are not used to that, so they'll be angry coming out here tonight, too. Here we go. Back to throw. Wisher looks up field. There's some contact across the way. Pass intended for the tight end again, Joey List. All right, List comes out of the ball game for Beachwood, replaced by Dwight Morrison, who comes wide to the near side. A man in motion, and that's Wayne Scott. Wide out to the far side. Rolling this way as Wisher looks to throw, and he's dropped. But he was dropped by the face mask, and that's going to cost Catholic. Well, a nice play by the defense, especially number 69. And I don't have a 69 listed, but he got the sack. Unfortunately, he grabbed one of them big bars going across the face mask, and that's going to cost Catholic probably 15 yards. And that will be a first down. Well, and that's a mistake that you'll definitely pay for at your next practice session because coaches do not tolerate that. He was in a position where he could have brought him down by the legs, and that's a costly mistake. Sack on the play, but as we said, he did it with the face mask. So here's third and three now for Beachwood. Out of the eye formation, they give it to the tailback Bishop. He bounces off one. He bounces off two. He bounces off three and four and then falls forward up over the 40 to the 43-yard line. My, my, my. Either Catholic on top, 19-13, with a touchdown midway through the period. After the 12-yard gallop by Bishop, it's first and 10 for the Tigers. Here's Bishop again. Here's a flag, and well behind the play, I believe the Tigers are going to be nailed for holding. And that's, no, that's going to negate about an 8-yard scamper by Bishop as one of the coaches absolutely throws his... There goes another clipboard in all the papers. They'll be picking that up for minutes. Or two yards downfield because it was an eight-yard penalty. Holding his mark from the spot, which meant it did occur two yards past the line of scrimmage. So here's first and 18. Again, Bishop straight ahead. Breaks one, breaks two. He's up over the 40, 45, leans forward and falls to about the 47-yard line. He gets Rams. They are the St. Louis Rams. It should be the St. Louis Cardinals and <laughs> maybe the Arizona Rams. Whatever. Here's third, second down now on about seven, a, long, a short seven, long six. Wolford has first down yardage and more as he goes right up the middle before he's drilled by Derek White and drop, but not before he crosses into Catholic territory inside the 14 to 13. Off of a very impressive drive after a nice defensive stand. We've seen a, a whale of a second half. It slowed down a bit, but we're seeing good football. There's the pitch back to Walfick, and he gets hit in the backfield. He falls forward for maybe a yard or so. Credit the initial task. Or gets run out of bounds. Second down and 10 at the Catholic 36-yard line. Catholic, after leading 6-0, falling behind 13-6, have scored two unanswered touchdowns to take a six-point lead. Here's Wolfick straight ahead, and he's got run Running room as he rambles inside the 25, inside the 20 to about the 19, perhaps the 18-yard line. In games, we'll also have pregame comments from both coaches coming up before our second game. Wolfick with an 18-yard run to end the second quarter. Here's first and 10 from the 18. And here's Wolfick trying to circle the left side. Breaks one tackle, but finally grabbing onto an ankle is Marshall Perchel to make the stop. But not line. Give him six. Make it second and four. East up comes wide to the near side. And, I mean, he's way wide. Here's a handoff straight ahead. Josh Bishop near the goal line, but not quite in. But it is a Beachwood first down. And it'll be first and goal. I'm sure I'll have the play-by-play -play of that one. Out of the eye formation. Fullback Josh Bishop straight ahead. Touchdown. So Josh Bishop here in the fourth quarter with 10.50 to go. That was a good call by Beachwood. Run right up the right tackle position. You've, we've seen the hole there a couple of times. They went, ran right over a couple of big linemen right there into the end zone for six. Is the holder. The lines are down. Wolford just hit one and missed one tonight. Good snap, a little bit high. Placement's down. Kick is up. It's good. And Beachwood has snuck on top, 20 to 19. So there's timeout on the field. 10.50 to go in the ball game. Beachwood leads by a point.
sister that used to teach there a long time ago? I don't think so. I don't know. Softball paper people. That's what you're wrong. The main grandstand looks to be just about completely full. All right, two-point conversion. Ernst, the quarterback, hands it off to White. Who else? Circles the near side and got in. He was hit at about the one-yard line, but he fell into the end zone for the two-point conversion. And now, with 10.37 remaining on the clock in the game, Here's Wisher up underneath his center, parks out the signals, hands it, leaves it off to the fullback coming through, Wolfick, and he climbs up over the 30 to a three yard line. They send wideouts to the far side and now also to the near side as Dwayne uh, Morrison. Here's Bishop and down goes quarterback Wisher as he tripped over a pulling guard's foot. And that's going to take it back to about the original line. Of Coming down. Yeah, really. Being roasted. Out of the eye formation. Wisher straight back to throw. Out in the flat, a screen sets up for Brian Bishop. He gets by one defender, but he's not going to get much as that one was pretty much sniffed out by the Knights defense leading the way coming over there Joey a 141 pound junior in this situation probably not because I don't see him in there oh it's fourth down they're going to punt I'm sorry Wolf boy a nice high floater White takes it at the 31 takes the reverse sweeps the right side but he's dropped as he gets up near the 35 perhaps the 36 yard line so it'll be first and 10 Lexington Catholic they're doing out there single set in the backfield there goes Rink in motion left the handoff is left for the fullback Johnson who plows straight ahead gets up over the 40 to about the 41 a gain of five it'll be second and five eight yards. as we mentioned early on Bill is that David Rink is coming back from a knee injury Bob Spire wanting to see how he would come back he's doing very well he's got to be well pleased He's in the game now. Ernst rolls to the near side after a couple of fakes. A keeper, he turns the corner. He gets up over midfield and is leveled as he gets into the Beachwood 45-yard line by Coyle, who so Catholic maintains possession. Clock continues to run. Three ticks above eight minutes remaining. Here's Rink in motion, and now we've got movement on the line. Perhaps the only real flaw that Catholics have tonight. They've had several illegal procedure calls. Same thing right there. Tonight. It's first and 15, or for that matter, DJ Johnson. They've been quite a duo. Ernst sends Rink in motion, spins, goes back to throw, fires it out in the flat, near side, caught off his shoe top, and with the football, and going into the secondary and going all the way, that's Lee Wolford. Lee Wolford on just a slip screen goes 50 yards. Actually, the pass was in the... ...to see the open part of the secondary there, that he had so much open field there as he went to the end zone. So now Daughtery trying to tack on the point after to give Catholic their biggest lead of the night, a two-touchdown advantage with just under seven and a half minutes to go. Good snap. It's down. It's up. It's good. And there's time out on the field now with the score. Catholic 34, Beachwood 20. We'll be back with more in just... 34 to 20. They are ready to boot it in the air to Beachwood, and here's Bill Bishop. Ball hits at about the eight-yard line, and it's picked up by Scott Coyle. Dances around, comes up the middle, crosses about the 20, 22 before he's dropped. Coyle. Well, we talked about the looking for their sixth straight trip to the state championship game in Louisville. They've got their work cut out for them. East step wide to the near side, single back, slot left, offsides as the defense of Catholic moved. That was number 50, Patrick Skees. 
a little anxious trying to cross in five. Again, a single back. Wide outs to either side. Slot left. Back to throw Wisher. Looks over the middle. There's Liss. Wide open. 45-50 into Catholic territory to about the 48-yard line. Well, we just mentioned last time where he had been, and that time they just... Catholic had nothing to do but just hope they had the right guy covered. 23-yard completion. Wayne Scott comes wide to the near side. In the slot is Brian Bishop. Now they got split backs. Actually out of the shotgun. Wisher to throw. Steps up. Protection. Down the right side for Bishop. And on... Defending the play was Brian White. The pass sailed out of bounds. Incomplete. Great Wolfick. And in the slot to the left is Brian Bishop. Wisher parks the signal, and now his right tackle moves, and that'll cost the Tigers five yards. Yeah, not a mistake you want to see if you're Beachwood. You're trying to move to the direction of the end zone, and this one, time not quite a factor right now, but when you're down 13, 14 points, it's time to score right now. Between high school football. Again, he step wide to the near side, wrap left far side, single back formation, in motion, Bishop comes across to the near side, Wisher steps back, quick look, and look in, wide open, Ratcliffe, he's at the 40, he's at the 30, 25, splits the defense, and is hauled from behind by Jimmy Jones, or it would have been a touchdown, down around the 15-yard line or so. He's a young left, probably being uh, looked at for a cramp right now, you see him here on the near sideline, Bill, he rushed over here as fast as possible. The trainer's working on him. Uh, we'll see if he returns to the ball game. 37-yard completion. Here's a mix-up in the backfield. There was Wolfick running right into his quarterback, Wisher, and Wisher almost knocked him down, and then a couple of blue they put this one in the end zone. Maybe not this play, but this series of plays. Wisher looks over his offense, steps back to throw, fires over the middle, almost a one-handed completion as Joey Liss went up with the right paw and just about brought it in. As he, he's come, he comes wide to the near side. Split to the far side, single back, slot to the right is Brian Bishop. I think that's who they got to watch. Here's a quick pitch. Comes back to Estep. He's going to throw a halfback pass behind Bishop, the intended receiver. There was one, two, three, four. Well, there was five uh, defenders in the area. At home. Knights have to feel if the defense can perform on this play, they might walk away with their first win of the young season. Bishop comes in motion to the near side. Straight back to throw Wisher. Here's that quick look in, but he threw it a little bit behind the intended receiver. And that was tossed. What? 15 points here in the fourth quarter. 15 unanswered points after Beach would have taken a one-point lead. There's the handoff and nothing doing this time by Derek White as he tried to sweep the nine minutes to go in the ball game. Bill Bush along with Dave Shore with you. Second annual Bluegrass Bowl sponsored by St. Joseph Hospital. Back to throw of all things and sack is Ernst. Steve Ernst who hasn't tried to throw the ball two or three times all night with a 14-point lead in the clock running. Well, Trinity taking on Henry Clay. Here's the big third and 19 call for Catholic from their own 10-yard line. Here comes White in motion. Ernst left it off up the middle to Johnson. And for the point of the few times tonight, Beachwood not fooled at all. Give Johnson a yard. And it'll be fourth down from the around his goal line. Bishop and Coyle are back just inside the 50-yard line. They're a territory. Low snap. Big rush. But Daughtery gets it off. And it's a sailor. A good kick. Coyle called for an extra. An extra. He called for a fair catch at his own 49-yard line. And there wasn't a night with an eight or nine-yard guy. Ask for any better, Bill. Temperature in the low 70s, I would assume, right about now. First and 10 from the Beachwood 48. Out of the shotgun. Wisher to throw. Looks. Great protection. Fires. And, yeah, we'll get pass interference. That'll be called defensive holding as the pass was intended Wayne for Scott Wayne Scott. Intended receiver. But all over him, draped like a tablecloth, was Lee Wolford. And he'll get... Uh, <laughs> what is a silly penalty at this point in the ballgame? East step comes wide to the near side. Ratcliffe wide to the far side. Bishop in motion. Single back. Wisher straight back to throw. Pump fakes. Looks long. Goes long for Ratliff. He's got him. Inbounds. And then runs out of bounds at the eight-yard line. So 
a beautiful throw that time from can nothing come easy <laughs> not when you're playing a team that's been to the state championship game the last five years exactly straight ahead the handoff to Wolfuck and he gets very little if anything and it'll be second down and goal all that really did Fun. Let's see if we can find Joey List, number 12. Here he is, tight end right side. See if they go to him. Split wideouts to either side. Bishop in motion again. Back to throw. Wisher looks. Oh, wide open List. Did he get in? He was nailed. Great touchdown saving tackle made by Jimmy Jones. 5 11, 100. More importantly, the clock will run, although now the officials say Catholic has taken a timeout line. Let's see now if it'll be Brian Bishop. Quick count. And Bishop right side dives no they say no touchdown more importantly the clock will run with 320 now a timeout and that'll be beachwood's final timeout so i line guy your chance to win from lexington They made a first down. It's the game right here for Beachwood. Here it is, fourth and goal inside the one. Quarterback sneak by Wisher. Touchdown. He he evident they must have been just inches away. But give Wisher a one-yard sneak. And with 317 remaining, we got us a football game. We got us a finish coming is what we're gonna have. Catholic at the end. Going for one. Wolf to tack on the PAT. To get them back to within a touchdown. Lines are down. Snap a little high. It's down. It's up. And it's good. So there's time out on the field. 3.17 to go in this puppy here tonight. And we've got a good one brewing. It's Lexington Catholic. The final 3.17 about to commence. Lexington Catholic now had their 14-point lead cut in half, up 34-27. See if it's an onside or it is an onside kick. Takes a hop and diving and falling on it for Catholic is Kevin Bailey. So when he figures out who the winning coach is to talk to them immediately following the ball game. Double wing, Catholic, sends Rink in motion, hands it straight ahead to Johnson, and he is upended as he hits the line of scrimmage, falls forward to about the 49, a gain of two, and it'll be second down and in the ball game. White, wing right. Rink, wing left, in motion, spins, hand off to Rink, circles the right side, five yards, 10, 15 yards to the outside, a straight arm, and forced out of bounds, inside the Beachwood 35, near the 30, an absolute great runner. Thank you. First and 10 for Catholic. More importantly, the clock runs with 2.15 remaining, and this one... Getting closer to a win, although a flag goes down now as White comes our way to the near side. The play is strung out, and he's dropped in the backfield for a couple-yard loss. Josh Bishop up to make the hit. What would you see down there, partner? You didn't detect that penalty? Like a turtle crawls to the line of scrimmage to run this play. Quarterback Steve Ernst, the junior. And now it's going to be too much time. So that'll cost them five more, and that will stop the clock. So the clock stopped again on a delay of game. Double wings. Johnson, the fullback. Ernst sends Rink in motion. Spins, leaves it for White. I don't know how White got the ball. I never could figure that out, but he got about a yard or two. I'll tell you, Bill, I'm down here, and it's hard to even see who has the ball from down here at field lever. They have done an excellent job. I think we mentioned just over 56 and a half seconds to go. Third down and a bus transfer away. But more importantly, they want to just keep it in bounds and run that clock out of the double wing. Here's White in motion this time. They leave it for Johnson. He gets about three or four, still going, and finally goes down at about the 34-yard line, where it'll be fourth down for Catholic. 47 seconds in the clock running. I don't know if Catholic will risk punting it. I'm sure they will. They haven't had any trouble punting the football tonight. 
Let me double check. Yep, it is fourth down. And about 15 yards to go for a first down. They may just they'll run. It. I they'll guess they're, they're down 15. He'll be kicking from the 40-yard line. Actually, he'll be standing back around midfield. Nobody back for Beachwood. So they're going to bring 11. They're going to try to get the football. They'll take their chances. A good snap. Big rush, but no pressure. Daughtery punches it down the field. Hits it to five. Up in the air and into the end zone. Almost downed inside the five. A Great attempt there. By the Mexico is at the 20-yard line. Well, the first play from scrimmage to start the game, they ran 80 yards. They need it again. They got people spread all over the place. Wisher takes the snap back to throw. Good protection. He winds it up and fires. Way downfield. Intercepted. Intercepted. By Jimmy Jones at his own 45. There's the horn. He drops the ball. This is going to be picked up by Beachwood. Can he score? He Ladros. Wolfer has it at the 10. He's at the 5. He cuts back. Is he, he throws it back. Oh, and, and Catholic gets like still Bill. loose on the field. There's players, cheerleaders. Hello, Stanford, you can cow. Holy cow. I cannot believe that even happened, Bill. Jimmy Jones intercepted the pass, fans. He heard the horn sound, and he threw the ball in the air. Beachwood picked it up. If it hadn't been a guard, Jeff Zellin, actually the center, it would have been a touchdown. Let's but go back to Beachwood in the state championship game of two years ago. That same play happened at the end of the ball game when Hergott was the quarterback in his own end zone, threw the ball up. Replay showed that the buzzer had not gone off yet. And I can't remember the team that won it that year, but they did not take their runner-up trophy home with them because of that same type of play. They thought they had scored a touchdown to tie the state championship game, and now Beachwood was almost on the other end of one this time. That's unbelievable. That was absolutely unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it, and I was caught in the midst of all the melee of Lexington Catholic people going out onto the field, and I still saw action going on. Well, the only thing we were missing, Bill, was the band. <laughs> They're still, the officials are still huddling because we have a penalty flag up at the 38-yard line. And I guess they're deciding if this is on Beachwood or is it on Catholic. If it's on Catholic and Beachwood had the ball, the penalty would be tacked on at the end of the play. Or perhaps the game's over. Now we see Catholic starting to jump up and down, but we still have a big discussion. This game is not over by any stretch. Right now, the football looks to be at about the 13-yard line. And I'll try to recap that. I have never in all my years seen any Thing like that in my life. We had cheerleaders on the field. We had Beachwood players on the. We had everybody on the field, and we had a big center lumbering down Last with the football. Play. Bill, they're going to have one more play. Beachwood is. Is that correct, Beachwood? No, no, Lexington Catholic. Okay. Yeah, they're calling number one offense out onto the field for Lexington Catholic. All they have to do is Take drop down. <laughs> <laughs> on, on the ball. I'll tell you what, Bill, what we will do is um, at the conclusion of this ball game, we will take a quick commercial and we will get with Bob Spire right after that. Uh, so hold it right here for one more play because Lexington Catholic is going to down the ball on one knee. My, 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 my. I've never seen a finish like this one. Well, it's going to end 34-27, I think, Lexington Catholic. The snap, the knee, the game is over. Now it is officially over. Woo! And Lexington Catholic hangs on in a wild and woolly finish from the Bluegrass Bowl here at Lexington Catholic High School. Dave Shore will be back with the winning coach in just a moment on 